Well, we're going to start our cucumber progression movie today, and we're going to walk through the, uh, the stages, the development of the cucumbers as they grow along uh, over the summer and uh, all the way up until we actually get to harvest it. So stay tuned. Cucumber's been out there for three weeks, which is really not very long at all in the grand scheme of things, is it? But I wanted to show you a couple, three weeks ago we planted these and how much they have grown just in the three week period. You'll come up and look real close. Remember we talked that when we planted them about putting these canes in, our bamboo canes, so that our plant can grow up the cane and it helps it get up to the trellis. And if you'll look right here, see the little, the little feelers that come out off of the plant. It actually grabbed onto the cane and it's holding it, helping itself up to get to the trellis. If you look at this one right here, here's one that he reached out and he grabbed onto the trellis and he grabbed onto the trellis right there. And he also reached up and he, I mean to the canes, and he actually reached up and grabbed onto the trellis back here. So see how it helps itself. Now, and sometimes they need a little bit of help. You come down here. I came out and tied this one loosely on just to get it over there near it. And now, since this morning, the feelers have grown out and they're already reaching out for it. See how I just loosely tie it on? I don't tie it up there where it's choked on there, but it's it's just enough to hold it close to the trellis because eventually these are going to grab onto it. As you can see on this plant, um, it's producing flowers already. These two are the um, the plain old slicing cucumbers I talked about, and all those are the Asian cucumbers. As you can see, these start producing fruit a little quicker than those because they're already putting out the blooms. And you know, they get a male and a female flower on there. And the, um, the female flowers are the ones that actually make a cucumber. And you can see right there, there's like a baby cucumber coming out. That's, and the flowers on there, that will eventually be a cucumber. But these two plants are off and running they're already going up, finding their way up this trellis, and they're all off and running. So we'll come back in a couple more weeks, and we'll see how much more they've grown and watch the progression of these guys. Cucumbers are doing pretty good. Been, they've been uh, planted out here on the trellis for five weeks now. And as you can see, I'm getting good vertical growth. They're coming up the trellis with no problem whatsoever. Once they get up to the top, I'll, I'll, um, I'll encourage them to make a horizontal run and all of my fruit will be hanging. As you can see, they're putting out plenty of cucumbers. You can see them all along the bottoms. They're just loaded. There's the Asians right there. There's some more, there's some more. Those, those are good. 
And I did want to show you one other advantage of having these um, trellises is whenever you water your cucumbers, you can water from the bottom. You don't want to get all the leaves all saturated with water every day. You want to early, uh, water real early in the morning and water at the bottom of the plant so that the leaves aren't wet, which creates white powdery mildew. They're so susceptible to that. You'll have cucumbers as long as you don't have that mildew and you want to try to do everything you can do to prevent it because curing it's a lot harder than preventing it. So one of the things you can do is put them up in the vertical run. The other thing you can do is water them from the bottom. And I use this wand and I adjust it down where I can squirt like this. See how I'm getting underneath there? I'm trying not to get any of the leaves wet unless I, I mean, you're gonna get them wet a little bit, but as you can see, I can put that water right where I want it all along the way and, you, and they take a lot of water and when they get to producing those fruit like that they take gallons and gallons of water because they, they're just sucking that water up and making fruit you you can see the difference in one day these cucumbers will go from that size to that size in about a day they are very quick growers these asians get about and that's about right there is about ready to harvest so we're good we're looking real good on these and as you can see we're loaded with blooms so we just get started good on these on these beauties so we'll see you back in a day or two and we'll do us a harvest and we'll talk nancy into showing you how to make some of the um korean uh dishes with the cucumbers so we'll see you in a couple days all right good morning our cucumbers have been in the ground for five and a half weeks on the trellises. So today me and Nancy are going to go out here and we're going to harvest some of those uh, cucumbers that are ready. And we're going to do two different kinds that we have. We have the, the plain old slicing kind that you see in the grocery store commonly. Um, I love to slice those up and chill them down, put a little salt and pepper and a little bit of white vinegar on them. And, make a nice little refreshing salad when it's hot and we got the Asian cucumbers out here that um, Nancy likes to use in her Korean redneck fusion cooking <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna score up a bunch of that today too so when we go to the bush I notice how we don't go up to the bush and take the fruit and twist it and pull it off we don't snatch it off the bush because if you do that, um, you run a high risk of injuring your cucumbers, and they're so delicate, any little thing can kill them, white powdery mildew, injuring the plant, bugs. So you want to take your uh, garden shears and just cut the thing off uh, as you go along instead of trying to rip them off the bush, because it injures the bush, and once it's injured, most of the time it dies, and that's pretty disheartening. So let's get started on getting us couple of bucket pulls of these things, okay? That right there is the uh, just the slicing cucumber that you see in the grocery store. Those are pretty good, and uh, I got me a, a good little bunch of them right there. The rest of them we're gonna pick are um, the Asian type. So let me help her with those.
Asian. There's some Asians and there's some Americans. Okay, there we go. Let's go over to the processing station and wash them off and take them inside and chill them up. This is one of our harvests. We're going to get that for several more weeks. Every couple of weeks, we're going to get this much. Um, and thank you for watching. And uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, like us on, and like it. And uh, also, like our Facebook page and uh, give the latest updates. And uh, but most importantly, please share it to encourage others. So, have a blessed day. So, buy his hands. We, we are, are fed. fed. Give we us, Lord, Lord our daily, our daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.